Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is Ploidy refers to and you have to choose one of these answers. Take a look at this picture. This is karyotype of the mice. We can find here all the chromosomes that present in the mice genome and this is karyotype of the female because we see here two X chromosomes. Genome of the mice has as you see 19 pairs of autosomes autosomal chromosomes and two sex chromosomes. Now imagine that here we have one extra chromosome, X chromosome. We call this condition trisomy. So this is going to be trisomy of the X chromosome. And for example, if we'll have another chromosome here, this is going to be trisomy 19. Here is going to be trisomy of the chromosome 18, but if we have one extra chromosome for each pair here, in this case, we do not call this trisomy, instead we call this triploidy. So we have three sets of the chromosomes. If we'll have only one, then it's going to be a gamut of the diploid organism. If we have two, this is going to be diploid. So two sets of the chromosomes. And if we have three, then this is going to be triploid. So now we can choose an answer and this is going to be an answer B. An individual with complete extra sets of chromosomes. Some animals like fish can be triploid and some plants can be triploid or tetraploid, meaning four sets of chromosomes or pentaploid, five sets of chromosomes. And one more note, if organism is diploid, then gamete would be haploid and would have one set of chromosomes. But if an organism is going to be tetraploid, then gamete, haploid gamete, would have two chromosomes. So you have to recognize this. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.